Hi, welcome to Coffee Talk. I'm Kelly Nitz, leader of the Kelly Nitz team. And I'm Lisa Schooner, the buyer specialist of the Kelly Nitz team. And today we're going to talk about pests. Now there are all kinds of pests. There are powder pulse beetles, there's termites, there's carpenter ants, there's um, bed bugs. I mean, there's all kinds of pests that you can test for. But you know, the first one we want to talk about are the ones that run rampant in Ohio and we're going to start talking about um, carpenter ants. Carpenter ants, Kelly, nest in moist wood, um, including wood that's decaying in the ground such as stumps, trees, logs, even wood buried underneath the ground. I guess that's why they tell you not to, you know, store wood close to your house. Like if you have a fireplace, you shouldn't store it close to your house because moisture attracts bugs, pests. Yep. So. And it's the same thing with termites, only they live in the ground and they burrow their ways up through these tubes and you can identify the tubes and I've seen the tubes before. And once you see one, you'll know what to look for if you're looking for termites. They're kind of easy to um, identify. And the tubes, you know, they, um, they protect the termites from, you know, so they can go to and from their colony because they go up the tube and, you know, do their damage and they go back down the tube home <laughs> yep. you know so the tubes do get dry and you'll be able to identify them again once a, like i said once you see one it's something you don't forget sure the next um pest that we want to talk about is a powder post beetles they're small reddish brown insects they actually feed on wood so they ca cause what powder mounds mm -hmm. kind of like a powder. baby powder it looks like only a different color yeah so they're definitely mm -hmm. easy to identify they make a little tiny little hill you know, and you can see them like on a floor joist or something, you know, or, or a, a sill plate in the basement or um, anywhere where they're, where they're doing their damage. Um, so those are kind of easy to identify, but one thing that is run rampant, and I think Ohio is one of the areas that has a large amount of um, these uh, particular pests, and these pests are known as bed bugs. <laughs> and I actually ran into my first experience with bed bugs I had a client who was selling the house, and actually it was a very clean house, so they're not associated with cleanliness. They're usually brought in from somebody somewhere, like if you had luggage somewhere and there were bed bugs in that place, they would you could just bring them home with you, and they multiply very quickly. So um, I sold this house, and the buyer went in there because nobody had really lived in there for a little while. Um, a relative was staying there just to keep watch over the house, and this poor man who was the buyer called and complained and asked if we'd ever, you know, had bed bugs. And he said he had these red welts all over his legs. And um, sure enough, I went to go pick up my sign and he was there and there were red welts all over his legs and wow. the house was infested with bed bugs. And so it's something that is, you know, running rampant in the state of Ohio and New York also is another area there where there are uh, pretty high numbers of bed bugs showing up. Yeah, just and another reason to get a pest inspection. Definitely. So when you have your pest inspection, you know, ask if they, you know, look for bed bugs. Anytime I go to a hotel or somewhere, I always just check the, the rim of the mattress, you know, because it's, they, they're just crazy. I don't want to get them and bring them home. Yep. And I also don't set my purse on the floor when I'm in certain areas. And, you know, you can pick anything up, roaches, anything. That's another pest, really. So um, we just wanted to educate you a little bit about making sure you have a pest inspection when you purchase a home. If you liked the video and found it useful, go ahead and like and share it with your friends and you could also subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when the next video becomes available. So thank you for watching Coffee Talk.